Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and this is day three of what I eat on my vegan diet. Well, not really a diet, just what I eat every day. So again, I've had my litre of water, I'm almost through that now, so I'm preparing my morning breakfast and I just felt like a bit of a pumpkin pie sort of thing this morning, that sort of flavour and still have bananas to use up, they're really really ripe and I've steamed some sweet potato, I didn't have any pumpkin and I've got a mixture of spices, I've got cinnamon, ginger, allspice, some maple syrup, some coconut sugar and some oats and I'll use the oats instead of um, a nut milk or soy milk um, basically I end up making an oat milk by mixing oats and the water in the food processor so that'll have that same effect without all the extra sugars and additives that are put into processed oat milks that you can buy in the shop okay so let's get started by putting in a sweet potato I'd say there's probably about a cup and a half steamed potato there it was a medium sized sweet potato probably about that size that I've steamed up and next we'll put in these bananas now you're actually if you or someone you know suffers from depression bananas are a fantastic food to include in your diet they're actually high in tryptophan high levels of tryptophan which convert into serotonin which basically the happy levels of your brain so you'll feel good if you have bananas and they taste good too so double bonus okay just speed this up a bit and come back once we have these bananas in cinnamon you can put as much or as little as you like or put different spices you might want to put a little bit of cloves it's up to you it's all spice I'm going to put in some 100% pure maple syrup and I'm going to sugar as well I'm going to put about one and a half tablespoons of coconut sugar well Three tablespoons of rolled oats. We've got organic oats that we've got here that we're using, and I'm going to need a little bit of liquid here, so let's get some water. So keep in mind that the sweet potato, because it's steamed. It's got a little bit of moisture as well and these bananas are really ripe so they're quite moist too. And we're just going to add a little bit of water which is effectively going to be like adding an oat milk because we've got the combination of the oats and the water. So that was just a little bit less than one cup. Put that in there. Plug in the right device. Okay. Oops. All right. Now I've never made this before, so let's just see what it turns out like.
Okay. That's quite quite soft and runny. If you want it a little bit thicker, just put in less water. Mmm, that's yummy. Mm, it tastes like pumpkin pie. Mmm. Banana pumpkin pie breakfast. over a little bit of coconut sugar on top there's my breakfast guys yum yum so sweet potato banana what would you call it porridge because it's got oats sweet potato banana porridge mm -mm. Mm. you've got to try it yum with some tomato sauce on top, the broccoli and tofu salad, and a pumpkin and pepita salad as well. And for a drink I'm just having a natural iced tea, lemon lime, peppermint tea, iced tea. So that is my lunch, lazy Friday lunch, out at a restaurant. See you later. <laughs> okay, so I've just had my lunch but I'm still hungry so it's Friday dessert. So this is a cranberry carrot cakey muffin -y thing and a soy chai latte. See you for dinner. This is my day three dinner and I'm having leftovers from last night's dinner actually. So it is um, bean curd pockets filled with a tofu mixture and a rice and black bean casserole with some broccoli and carrots and I'm going to have a bit of the um, Nando's mild peri peri chilli sauce over that as well and that will be my dinner for tonight and probably along with them some water as well because it's quite a hot night 30 degrees today here on the Gold Coast so why I'm having chilli sauce, I don't know, but it's yummy. I don't care what temperature it is. Mm -mm. Dinner day three. See you tomorrow.